Hey, uh, Robert Spooner here. I wanted to do a short video on, uh, I get a lot of questions on this uh, uh, when I'm out uh, trying to hang a painting and so forth and people are wondering exactly how and what's the easiest way to hang a painting. So I've turned one of my pieces around here so that I can kind of show you an easy, simple math way in order to hang your painting. So on the back of this, this piece here, which is a 40 by 40, I've I've got a little temporary uh, hanging wire in here, and the theory kind of goes the same whether you're using uh, hanging wire to to put up a piece of artwork or homemade French uh, cleats or some kind of a store-bought French cleat. So there's a general consensus that when you're hanging a painting that the center of the painting is at about 58 inches, 56, 58, whatever that number is that you want to use. So what I do is I take the back of my painting here, which is, like I said, it's a 40 by 40 here, 40 by 40, and I want to measure down, and here's, here's 20. So that 20 there needs to, or this halfway mark right here needs to hang at 58 inches, right? So if I already have the wire on here, I want to measure from here to here. If I go up like that, and that's where the hangers are going to be into the wall, right? I look down here, and I see 14. So I want to add 14 to the 58. I'm going to get 72 inches. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, go up to the wall, wherever it's going to hang, come up 72 inches, and then that's where I'm going to put my hangers. Now some hangers, some hangers have a have a difference between where the painting's going to hang and actually where the hanger actually inserts into the wall. In this case, there's about an inch difference, so you would want to move it up that extra inch so that the bottom of it would hang exactly on your 58 inches. So it's just about that simple. So all you do, once again, is you want to measure halfway the painting, right? Because that halfway or that center part is gonna go at 58 inches. Measure the difference between the halfway mark and where whatever hanging device is going to be. This one happens to be at 14, so that's going to be 72 inches. Go to the wall, go to the floor, mark up 72 inches, put your hanging device in there, and then get somebody to help you hang up the painting. That's a simple little way to calculate where your painting and how it should hang.